All right, so this next uh, tool that we used is called Show Me. And Show Me is an app that we had our students use on their iPads. Uh, I've used it in a couple different ways in my language arts class. I know our algebra teachers used it several times in her class. And this is just going to show you some different ways people have used them, including uh, our students. So if you want to see more about it, you can go to the showme.com website. I'm actually going to steal that off to add to my Prezi. Um, and you can download the app onto an iPad um, or an iPod. So, like, well, it has to be an iPod Touch. So, um, I feel like I need to preface that because sometimes people have older iPads um, or iPods, rather. So, uh, here are just some examples that they have on their website. We'll let that load here for a second. But basically what it is, is it gives the kids a, a whiteboard. And what they can do is they can actually turn their whiteboard on. They can uh, record as they are writing on this um, on their iPad or their iPod. And um, they can narrate. So they could narrate a story. They could um, show you how to do a certain math problem or a type of math problem. Or they could even you know, discuss different things like this in the feudal structure of Europe. This is a quick look at the structure in Europe during the Middle Ages. And we're talking about uh, eight, nine hundreds, eleven hundreds, um, under people like Charlemagne, in Gaul, and in Britain. Uh, so at the top of the feudal structure is the king. He wields the most power. The king is really the owner, if you would, of all the land. So I'm going to stop our, uh, this student here for a second and point out that one of the other cool things about this is they can actually add pictures that they have on their iPad uh, that they maybe have snagged um, from the Internet or have taken with their own, on their own. They can draw just like they would on a whiteboard um, or a smart board, and then they can actually share whatever they've created um, by either sharing a link or sharing um, an, embed, an embed code that would allow it to play on some sort of website like this. So if you have higher end students, one way you might want to use this or might consider using it, um, if you have these high achieving students, is that you could actually have uh, your gifted kids create uh, lessons or tutorials uh, using these uh, to provide on a website for your kids who need some extra support. Or vice versa. I mean, I've found that some of my kids who need support uh, flourish best when I ask them to create one of these videos and let them know that it is going to be shared with their peers.